All right, guys, we're here at the computer. I have my lightweighted to SE Express LRS version. I have my drone here with the receiver, the Express LRS receiver. And I have my battery here to power this drone just in case I need to bind to the receiver. So let's jump on beta FPV configurator. All right, so here's the configurator. This is available on their website. Here's my controller. I have my USB-C here. I'm just gonna plug this into the computer. All right, we have a connection here. Let's go ahead, connect. All right, cool. So, nice. So I need to update the firmware of my light radio. Okay, that's fine. Okay, wow, that's weird. All right, so here we are. Here's our page right here, and it's pretty straightforward. SE V2, you can change the modes, mode one, mode two. Trainer port is off. Internal RF, let's see here. It has the Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz already in there. There's no external module. And then let's see here, Express LRS protocol setup. So you can change the power output here, 100 milliwatts, packet rate, that's pretty awesome. It gives you 500 Hertz. Telemetry radio, this doesn't matter. We don't have any speakers or any screens on this radio right now. I do want to enable the binding phrase. Let's see if it lets me do it. So it doesn't let me do that. Let's see here, which is weird because everything here shows that it's working. Here's all your modes. All right, so. Maybe I'll have to upgrade that. I want to use this feature right here. So I'll probably update that. All right, let's do the, what this says to do here. All right, we're going to plug this bad boy here. Okie dokie. Save. All right, guys, so let's do this. I downloaded it. Hold the setup, we'll hold the setup button, press the power, release, plug it in. We're plugged in. Let's go to connect, should be connected. And then let's see if I can find it online. That's not working. So we have the file here already locally. All right, so here it is right here, open. And we're gonna flash it. It's flashing it, which is good. Successful. All right, so we're looking pretty good here. Let's go back to here. Okay, so we have the firmware updated here. We're gonna plug it back in. Connect RC. And this looks all good still. Ooh, so the firmware does affect it. <laughs> All right, so we're good here again. Mode two, trainer port off, internal RF, express LRS, external RF is off, which is good. And then we have different power settings here. We're gonna keep it at 100, that's the highest. And that 100 milliwatts should be pretty darn good. And the packet rate, 500, is pretty impressive. All right, so this all looks good. You can enable binding phrase here as well, and we'll do that at the end, and then just save and reboot. And besides that, looks like I'm missing channel. Okay, channel three is here. I was gonna say I'm missing channel three. That's the throttle. And this all looks good. Throttle, channel four is the yaw. Channel two, it says throttle here, but that should be hitch. I'm sure if you change the modes, that's gonna change. I don't know why that says throttle on here and then roll is channel one. So that's all good. And then you have all your other access reports or your alternate auxiliary ports on five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so let me just put my binding phrase in here. We'll save and reboot and then uh, see if it binds to my receiver. All right. Perfect. Disconnect. And we should be good guys, let's try this out. I'm gonna unplug this. Okay, so we have our drone here. And this drone was already bounded to my other Express LRS module. This is my first time using this transmitter here. So we're just gonna plug this up. All right guys, so let's power up this radio here. And power this drone on. Let's see. Oh, so it works. All right, so what happened here? I just triggered this smoke stopper. 
Let's try it one more time. <laughs> it works. That was awesome. Didn't even have to bind anything. So I'm going to put this off. I just want to see what it looks in beta flight. If all my channels are correct. Um, I don't know how they programmed. I did look at it and, but I just want to make sure that it's programmed correctly. Okay. So let's connect. All right guys. So this is very, very cost important make sure that you have everything cleared from here. I know that my arm switch works, so uh, that's not a big deal, but you have your props in here. So you don't want, this is a real safety issue here. So I'm just going to make sure that all my, my controls here work. Let's power this on. All right. So receiver, we got the roll that works. Yaw, pitch, and then the throttle. So they're all good. Not bad. Let's take a look at my aux switches here. That's aux two. Beeper. And that's crash flip. So let's take a look at the modes are correct. If that's all I care about. The arm, we know it works. That's correct. Air. All right. Horizon and angle. All right. I don't have a crash flip on this one. So everything here is Ready to rock and roll, guys. All right, guys, this thing wasn't bad to set up. It was actually pretty simple. Uh, the first thing that it prompted me to do was to update the firmware. I couldn't get any further without that. Well, you probably could have, and as I said before in my previous videos about Express LRS, these things are being updated almost every day. On a weekly basis, these things are changing. So what you knew two weeks ago has changed. So uh, the firmware that this thing shipped with was probably adequate. Um, in fact, I thought that this thing didn't have a binding phrase, but once I did the update or the firmware update on this, then it did give me the option to choose a binding phrase, which makes this thing or makes binding with this really, really, really easy and really, really simple. So guys, I've done a lot of videos on Express LRS on how to get to that point where you can just set a binding phrase. I'll leave those videos linked down below. So we're going to go outside right now, fly this thing for a few minutes, see how it works, see the range, how we don't go too far with it. But 100 milliwatts should be fine and see how it flies, guys. Um, this remote is super light. It's surprisingly light, guys. So if this thing works really well, this might be a really good option for you. So let's go outside, fly this, and I'll give you my final impressions once I get back. All right, guys, we're outside here. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. We have our stuff right here. It's going to be a little different today because we have no screen. We have no telemetry on this, no open TX, so I can't hear if I have low telemetry. Let's power this thing on has a weird noise. All right, so that's powered on. Okay. Horizon and air. That all works. Okay, let's arm this thing for the first time. See if this works, guys. We got arm. We're in angle mode for now. And it works.
All right, guys, we are back from the flight, and this Light Radio 2 SE with the Express LRS is pretty damn good, pretty awesome, guys. So right off the bat, we went outside, put a battery on the drone, we checked all of our switches, and all of them worked. Armed it, took it off, and the thing flew really, really great. Now, this thing is so light in the hands, it's really, it's really weird having this sensation of a light controller here. It feels like there's nothing in here. And there's a thousand milliamp hour battery in here, so it must be a very, very light battery. And the first thing that was immediate was that the gimbals feel a little different than my usual controller. I use a jumper t light right here. It feels a little bit different. Now this has hull gimbals in here and this uses a potentiometer gimbal. So it's gonna feel a little bit different. This one just feels a little bit stiffer. Obviously it's not broken in yet, but uh, it does feel stiffer and not as smooth, but it still felt great. The other thing I noticed was that the gimbals height were a little bit shorter. So at the end of my flight though, I did adjust them and they are adjustable. So these things are customizable and that's a cool touch guys. So really, really good. So at the end of my first battery, or coming to the end of my first battery, I decided to go a little bit further out, test the range. I went pretty far and I tried to reduce my altitude so there's obstacles in the way. And sure enough, there's obstacles, there's a kid's part, there's some aluminum, there's trees in between me and the drone here. And never once did I have any issues. In fact, I actually saw in some of the videos, I actually lost VTX signal before I lost transmitter signal, which is a really good thing. Um, so if you can outrange a traditional average power VTX, then I would say this technology, the performance, the antenna in here is pretty good. Now this has a built-in antenna, really nice. I mean, there's nothing here sticking out and that's one appeal about this control is very compact. If you don't go on a trip somewhere, you can just pack this up, throw this in your bag and you're off to the races. As long as you configure your drone or your receiver correctly, this thing should bind to it automatically because this does support a binding phrase and we saw that in the configurator. So with all that said, who is this Light Radio 2 SE for? Who is this for? And I would say this is for probably beginner pilots. Maybe you're getting into the FPV industry and you wanna get a controller. This would be my number one recommendation for that only because Express LRS is the new protocol in town. It seems to be changing every day. It seems to be improving and superseding all the previous protocols that came before it. So, if this thing comes with Express LRS, why not get into that? It seems to be a really strong you know, protocol system here. Having said that, you might wanna get this as a beginner because this is compatible with most SIMs. Now you have a USB-C port right down here and you can connect this to your computer and you can use the latest SIM and practice. So this is really good for beginners. Um, as I said, it's very light, everything is compact, everything is internal. You just plug a USB-C in here and it charges. So let me know what you think about this controller down below in the comments. If you have any questions about this as well, leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer those. And while you're there, please consider subscribing to the channel therefore you'll be notified whenever I do drop a new FPV video, guys. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace!